See now, the fear of rejection you have had since you were about 10. That's when you got scared to ask girls out. Because what if she says no? What if, what if she humiliates you in the lunchroom, in the cafeteria? And then at high school, your fears evolved. What if she says no? What if she posts about it? What if she exposes you? She says no to the dance. And then in college, you get scared to maybe apply for jobs or internships or maybe even asking chicks out then. And then when you get past that, now you're scared to reach out to clients, cold call to get into sales because you might get rejected. Maybe it's knocking doors, whatever it is. See, this fear, dude, it's, it's been around. And you're viewing it the wrong way. See, if the girl says no, if the client says no, you're in the same spot. Because right now you have no girl and no clients. It can't hurt your situation, but it can hurt your ego. And that's what you're really scared of. See, I've had probably the worst, probably one of the worst stories of rejection. I'm going to tell it to you. Walking down the street, I'm in door-to-door -door sales at this time, right? I'm knocking doors. I'm selling stuff. Your boy's active, right? And all of a sudden, I see this dog walking down the sidewalk towards me. I'm like, dog look excited. I'm like, wow, she looks excited. He's like, yeah. Dog leaps up, bites my arm. I'm like, okay. He's like, oh, man, she never does this. I'm like, okay, yeah, sweet. He's like holding the dog, comes at me again. I'm like, bro, hold your dog. So now I'm pretty worked up. I'm upset. He's like, yeah, man, I'm sorry. What, whatever you need, come over, bro. I'll give you Band-Aids, help you out. So I'm like, all right, thank you, man. I appreciate it. And it wasn't really bleeding that bad. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to keep walking. And I keep knocking, and eventually starts bleeding pretty bad. I ask guy, I'm like, yo, man, you got any Band-Aids or gauze by chance I got bit by a dog? He's like, no, I don't. I'm like, shucks. Let's go to the dude's house. Go to the dude's house. Completely changes. Completely changes up. Why are you here? I'm like, bro, are you serious? What are you doing here? And at this point, I'm just like, okay. Like, th this is how it's going to be. So I I'm I'm upset now. I'm pretty worked up. Granted, I shouldn't have handled it as, uh, as good as I could have. I got pretty mad. And eventually, we're in this dispute. Pulls out a gun. Pulls out a gun. And I don't care how tough you think you are. When someone has a loaded gun pointed to your head, you get scared. Like, literally, I, I've never had a moment in my life like that where, you know, you just, like, fight or flight absolutely kicks in. And I was with a friend of mine, and he's like, man, we got to go. And we literally walked off this dude's property with our hands up. Crazy. And I know that sounds fucking horrifying, dude. But here's the takeaway for you. All that I got from that was a scar you can't even see anymore. Did it hurt my ego a bit? Yeah. But I'm still alive. I could have been walking down the street and someone could have robbed me for my Rolex. Someone in London could have stabbed me. All this stuff. We try and come up with these worst scenario excuses. The worst scenario, the worst thing that could happen and realize, dude, I've done probably 10,000 door knocks, thousands of sales calls, thousands of meetings. I've known people that have done just as much, if not more as me. I'm the only person I know who had that shit happen. I have every right to just, oh no, I'm too scared. I don't want to, but I keep going. I still power through the rejection. Here's the truth about the shit, man, is rejection. Yeah. It's like a kick in the nuts. You're scared to get kicked in the nuts. But let me tell you, because you're scared to get kicked in the nuts, you're never going to get to the yeses. No's lead you to the yes. The yeses, if that's all we got was just yeses from the chicks, yeses from the clients. Every time it was just fucking laydowns, bro, there would be no fulfillment. It would be so mundane. It would be so monotonous. What makes it great is you got to go through shit to get it. Because if it was so easy, everyone would do it. You got to take the kicks in the nuts. And then you start getting used to it. It just starts to hurt less. You're like, oh, kick in the nuts. Here it is. Bang, done. You get used to it. 
you're just not used to it. And you're so scared. Like, oh, dude, you're probably real talk. I'm going to just be honest. Probably the first time you talk to a chick or you talk to a client, cold call, whatever it is, you're probably going to suck. Maybe, maybe you're a natural dude. I hope you're natural, but you're probably like, I, I, you won't be able to speak. Click hung up. No, is what it is, bro. I'm still alive. I've gotten blocked, gotten guns pulled on me, dude, like crazy, crazy stuff. People threaten to beat my ass is what it is. I'm still alive. You just start shoveling through the shit and then you get the yeses. But the problem is you're never going to get the yeses because you're too scared. You got to realize the rejection is not final. It is temporary to get you to the yeses. When, dude, when I'm in sales, I realize the no's, if I get 10 in a row, I'm like, okay, my sales meter's ticking. I'm close. I'm owed, right? Usually around the 11th, no, I get a yes. Start viewing it like that. It's a stepping stone, dude. It, bro, you're still alive. You're still breathing. Chill out. <laughs> I just told you the most extreme story because I'm still alive. I'm still pursuing it. I'm still going and powering through the rejection. So can you, bro. You have no excuse. You have none. I don't care about the BS you're cooking up upstairs. Well, what if, what if, what if? Bro, stop playing the what if game. Because what if she says yes? What if the client says yes? You're never going to know because you're never going to take the risk. Nut up. Ask for the clothes. Ask her out. Ask her on a date. Whatever it is. Because then at least if she says no, you now have peace of mind. You have closure. Because you now know. What you're just going to, you're going to go 30 years down in life, bro. And just never know. See, our biggest regrets in life not come from not what we did, but what we didn't do. That shit haunts you. So stop avoiding it. Just roll with it, bro. I promise. Just roll with it. So this question was from a, a guy in our community. If you guys want to join, it is still free. I'm going to keep it open a little bit longer just because it's cool. It's cool to see you guys come in, talk, chop it up. It's, it's sweet. So join the community. I'll have the link down below for you guys and subscribe to the channel. So I see you in the next one and take care.